What's up guys, I'm Wolves87 and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a beer puppeteer. <laughs> Seriously? And if you're like me, you looked everywhere to see if there were some plans on how to build one of these things. I couldn't find any, uh, but lucky for you guys, I put together some plans. It's about five or six pages long. So as the video is going, you can either screenshot them or message me on Facebook and I can send you the PDF. So we're gonna start off with the frame, which is these three pieces of two by four, really easy to put together. You got this top one that's 27 inches long. This uh, bottom one is 46 inches long. And this middle one is 17 inches long. And these two end pieces right here, they're cut at a 45 degree angle. And to assemble this, you're going to want to put two three inch screws going down, two three inch screws going into the cross brace, and two three inch screws going this way. Up next is the bat pack. Really simple, 21 and a half inch by 17 inch sheet of three quarters plywood. And you just center it on the two by four. And once it's flush all the way to the bottom, then you drill in some screws. I got six in mind just to make sure it's nice and secure then you're going to want to drill your holes for your little backpack straps here and for that i used a half inch drill bit and this rope i'm not sure what kind of rope it is it's just generic braided rope and anyways pool noodles have a hole in them so you just run the string through make sure you have extra so you can tie it off on the back and yeah i've used it a couple times and it seems pretty comfortable and it seems to hold up just fine and so for the waistband, I just used a bungee cord and it's connected through two D-rings. Uh, the D-ring placement, you can kind of put wherever, but if you see on the chart, that's where I put mine. And for the bungee cords, you can get a 36 inch or a 48 inch, depending on how big of people are gonna be trying this thing on. And up next is the top plate. Pretty easy to assemble. It's a seven by 12 inch sheet of three quarter plywood. And you just center on your board here and make sure it's nice and flush here. And then once it's on, you screw in these eye screws. I did mine two inches outside of uh, the two by four and then two inches in from the outside of the board. So the bottom plate is just as easy as the top. It's the same dimensions, seven by 12. And in the middle of it, I drilled a three inch circle. If you have a hole saw, you can use one of those or you can use a jigsaw and I wasn't sure what to do about the cup falling out because I'm sure you're going to want to wash this and replace it and at the same time you don't want it falling out while someone's using it. So I plan to put a rubber band on here to keep it from moving up and down but when you want to take the glass out what I did is I just cut this board in half and then I have two pieces of plywood right here and here that kind of screws it together. Now in the future, since I don't always carry a drill with me, I should probably switch these to wing nuts, uh, but that'll be for the final product. Now for the string length. So these four strings that go up to the eye screws, they're all the same length. They're 37 inches long and behind them, there's a knot. The knots up here, keep this from going down any further. That way you don't have to worry about breaking your glass or anything. And now the links to the O-rings, they're a little bit different, the front two, these are about 25 inches from the O-rings to the eye screws. And then your thumb ones are about 30 inches from the O-rings to the eye screws. And lastly is this front sign right here. It's completely optional, but I think it's cool. And mine is 18 inches long by five inches tall. Uh, just some plywood and I put two screws in it to keep it in place. So now that this thing is assembled, I'm going to go ahead and try it on. Once you have it on your back, it's pretty easy to use. You put your pinkies through the front strings and you put your thumbs through the back strings. And it helps if you're not in a small garage like this, but you just pull the strings down. Now this is just a prototype one, so I will be making a part two. I'm gonna paint this thing and maybe fix a few things after we test run it a couple times. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so you won't miss out on the final product. And again, if you have any comments or questions on something I missed in this video, leave it in the comment section below and in the next video, I'll answer it. The final product video will have a lot more videos of people using this thing so you can see it in action and it should look a lot better than this. 
And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.